Dear young voters of British Columbia, I know you feel this political system has left you behind. I know you feel like you don't have a say and that things never really change. Well, this is your chance to say fuck you to that system. Last election, not a damn bit of breath was spent on issues that matter most to you. You've been priced out of renting a home. Your environmental future has been bought and sold by fucking assholes who are gonna be dead in a few years. You can't make a living wage, drowning in student loan debts, ICBC is probably you over in some way and you probably are pissed that BC's corruptible system is so bad that the New York Times wrote an article calling BC the wild wild west of Canadian political cash. Yes, the wild wild west thing has been largely amended by our current coalition government, but the people fighting for first past the post are the people who made that f***ing problem. I know you care about your future. I know you feel the system is rigged, but you have a real chance to send a big f*** you to the people who f***ed it up in the first place. If you don't want to vote out of hope, that's fine. Please, vote out of spite instead. All you gotta do is find that brown envelope in your pile and vote yes for PR. I'm encouraging you to research a little more on the second question, but then take that vote and smash it into the mailbox. Old cronies are pushing for first past the post, trying desperately to scare your grandparents into fearing change, telling them that extremist parties are gonna take control in BC. Yeah, in BC, we're gonna have some pretty extreme parties coming. Maybe ones that, I don't know, care about the environment, First Nations rights, having affordable living. PR is a system that will change the system. It means that MLAs in the legislature will have to do their fucking jobs and fight for policy instead of having a magical majority elected by 40% of the voters that make all the decisions in back rooms. Yes, there'll probably still be backroom deals that are made, but at least it'll be a coalition of people you voted for discussing in those back rooms and not just one singular party and their super rich donors. Right now, the polls will show you that people under 55 are voting for pro-rep. People under 35 are overwhelmingly voting for pro-rep, but old people are scared of this change. And when old people are scared, crazy shit happens. Old people overwhelmingly voted for Donald Trump, for Doug Ford, for Brexit. And it's not because they're dumb, it's mainly because they watch TV where regressive politicians target old people with terrifying ads and scare them into voting their will. But old people vote. They love voting. They love voting like young people love the f***ing internet. First past the post is unstable. It creates massive shifts in governments, which costs millions because a few people in some swing ridings decided to change their minds. It's a system that is easy for regressive dinosaurs to win under because they know they'll never win the popular vote again. And they know that. Oh. People under 25 are the least reliable voting block. This issue becomes worse because it makes politicians not give a shit about you, which then results in you not voting more. This election is gonna be crazy tight. And I'm not gonna pander you and say, if you're woke, you'll know PR is lit. Pokemon, go to the polls. You know what would be lit? The shocked expressions on those politicians that ignored you when you with their perfectly corruptible system. If young people decide this election, the fear of God will be sent into our politicians, to the parties, to the head of the vote no campaign who blocked me on Twitter, to represent young people and to fight for policy that works for them. So young people of BC, hold your ballots up proud and say, Fuck you, I'm voting for PR. You have until November 30th to mail your votes in. So please mail them now. If you haven't received one, you have until midnight November 23rd to register. Ballots must be in by November 30th. Smash that vote into the mailbox. I'm Joel, I'm not paid by anyone, and I'm just using my free speech. I voted for PR, and my first choice is rural urban proportional. Let's f it up. Let's give power to the people. But seriously, guys, let's vote. Let's win this election. We can do it.